cars sit in water after flooding on the major Deegan Expressway spilled over into the neighboring street and flooded a parking lot, when the remnants of Tropical Storm Ida brought drenching rain and the threat of flash floods and tornadoes to parts of the northern Mid-Atlantic, in the Bronx, September 2nd. Reuters slash Caitlin Oaks slash file photo sign up for our politics and why newsletter for the latest coverage and to stay informed about the 2021 elections in your district and across Nick and Easter is expected to hit New York City Monday night, bringing heavy rain and strong winds to the five boroughs and the tribe. A flash flood watch is in effect for Monday starting at 8 p.m. until Tuesday 5 p.m., and the coastal storm will drop between 2 to 4 inches of rain at a rate of half an inch to 1 inch per hour, according to the forecast. Flash flooding is likely at urban and poor drainage areas, such as subway stations, and flooding is also possible at rivers and small streams. Strong wind gusts of 40 to 50 miles per hour are expected, especially along the coast, which could down trees and power lines, with a wind advisory in effect from 2 p.m. Tuesday until 6 a.m. Wednesday. An oyster will bring heavy rain and strong winds to New York City Monday night, October 25th. National Weather Service This event may cause flooding in the city, including on highways, streets, underpasses, as well as other poor drainage or low-lying spots, the agency's incoming acting commissioner Andrew DeMora said in a statement. New Yorkers should give themselves additional travel time and take the appropriate precautions if they must move about the city during the storm. The agency advises people living in basements to be prepared to move to a higher floor during heavy rain. People should stay out of any buildings surrounded by floodwaters and avoid flooded subway stations.